Hello, folks. It's hotter than the hubs of Hades here today, but I thought I'd get you up just as a quick intro. I'm in a little spot here, right up along through here. It's going to kind of scrape around a bit. It looks like it's 30s and 40s stuff, but I just popped this here out, and it is blown with an applied lip, some sort of food jar or something. Get a better look at it. Check it out. So anyways, there's that, just as a little introduction, and uh, I'll scrape around them some more. If I find anything, I'll get you back up on. If not, we'll move on to another location. All right, let's go. All right, folks. So first little find is this here. Got a nice little light greenish color to it nothing real spectacular but probably places it around the 1930s then i popped up this piece of metal here as you can see a little piece of sheet metal and underneath it was this look at that sticking out let's pull it out looks like a uranium glass Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, it's got a big chip out of it. Well, that's pretty cool. Worth keeping or no? I don't know. I might take it. Might end up throwing it out. Hard to say. That's too bad that's chipped. Boys, that would have been a nice piece. But that glows under a black light. Well, here's an okay find, folks. Check it out. Just come out. Looks to be a milk white glass stopper. Pretty cool. Doesn't look to be any doesn't look like there's any design or anything on it, but I would say that's definitely a milk glass stopper. That was a first for me. Whoa, hold the phone, folks. Check this out. I almost missed it. Right up there. Marble. Oh. Wow, that's a nice one. Check out the swirls on that. Sweet. I don't know much about marbles, but... I know that's a nice looking marble. <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. All right, beauty. That was definitely hard all going here, folks. In this heat, anyways, I just scraped up a little uh, cork top. I can't tell if it's embossed or uh, blown or not, but I think it is embossed. I thought I seen. Right here, yeah. Let's see what it says. Glyco Company. Glycothymaline. Huh. Interesting little bottle. Almost like a sample size, maybe. Let's get focused on it. There we go. It's a little better. Glycothymaline. Cool beans. Got a bucket dump here, folks. i seen this come out of it. Check it out. It's a metal button with a sort of flowers along it. Maybe a rose. Shank still on it. Pretty cool. Neat little find. Whee! Okay, folks. Got something on my shovel here. See if you can make it out. Without me pointing it out. Oh, you've probably seen it by now. Right here. Huh? What do you think of that bad boy? I put that in uh, electrolysis and clean that up. Nice old uh, skeleton key there. 
Yep. Sweet, haven't found one of those in a while. So I just put the key in for electrolysis, folks, and you can see it's starting to work there now. The bubbles are going. Yep. Alright, we'll check back in on it in a little while. Well, I don't think I'll be staying here too much longer, folks. I've dug around a bit. It's a lot deeper than I expected it to be, but I'm not finding too much. Looks like it's 40s and 50s, but even for 40s and 50s, sometimes you can find something that's half decent. But I'm not finding too much here. This is a Father John's Medicine. Edge embossed. Screw top. Kind of neat, but not something I'd keep. Here's another one here, it looks like. Let's pull that out. Looks like the same thing. Yeah, it is. Father John's Medicine. Screw top. Like I say, it's kind of cool, but it's not one that I'd uh, normally keep. If it was a cork top, I'd keep it. Or if it was face embossed, I'd keep it. This is a later one. Anyways, I'll dig away for a little bit more and see what turns up. It's starting to rain here now. Well, just when I thought it wasn't getting too much out of here, folks. Here's a little something. It's no showstopper by any means, but it's in good condition. It's a, an old uh, Pyrex baby bottle. All embossed, see? So that's kind of neat. Looks to be in, uh, like I say, perfect condition, so. Alright. Some thunder boomers there, folks. I don't know if you can hear them or not. Pretty loud. Anyways, it's been raining off and on here. So I thought I'd take shelter up here just for a couple minutes. There's an abandoned cabin or something right in here. Let's go have a look at that since we're here. There she be. Lighting's not very good in here. Swallow's nest build up on there. Somebody's purse from the 1960s. Not much to see here, I guess. Let's check out this room here. Okay, we got some blankets on the floor. We got a wood stove and a chair. Looks like somebody might have been staying here to keep warm. There's some slippers down in there, red slippers. This piece looks to be built on to the original piece. Hmm. Too bad the doors are all beat off it. Would be a good little spot to take shelter if you ever need it to. If you were cold or whatever. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this clip. Not much to see in here. Okay, folks, it's been in there for about an hour now, and the water is browning up quite nicely. Um, I guess I'll show you. I'm just using an adapter. 
see, check it out. Here's the adapter. It's a 15 volt. We get focused. 15 volt adapter. I got the end snipped off the wire, and I just have the two uh, pieces of wire separate it and do uh, positive, which goes on your sacrificial piece of iron or metal, and I'm using an Allen wrench there. And then your uh, negative goes on to the thing that you want to uh, restore. And in this case, it's that skeleton key. All right, so that's going to be uh, it for right now. We'll leave it in for a few more hours, and we'll see what it looks like uh, on the recap. Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in, and welcome to the recap portion of the video. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're all doing well. Uh, this site here didn't turn out to be quite as old as I was hoping. Well, I got a few interesting bits and pieces out of it, so, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So let's start off with this bottle here. I didn't show this one in the digging portion of the video, but I always keep these ones. They're a medicine bottle, or they appear to be a medicine bottle, but they got a nice greenish hue to them, and you can see that there up here around the edge, down around the base there, and uh, these are pierced glass, these ones with that green issue, pierced glass company, yeah I always keep those ones when I find them, next we got the uh, Father John's Medicine, and I wouldn't normally keep this one but I did for the sake of the video, and it's a, it's a screw top and it's like a full full threaded screw top. I put that cap on just to kind of clean it up a bit. And I believe these ones are going to be from like the 40s or 50s. Now, the other ones that I normally would find look like this. See, it's face embossed. This one's only edge embossed. And the, the screw top is like that lug style thread there, which puts it around the late 1920s into the 30s. Whereas this one, like I say, I think is going to be from the 40s or 50s. Next we got this uh, uranium glass juicer, or Vaseline glass, they call it as well. And from what I can gather by looking at images online, there would have been a handle here, which makes sense. But the handle is broke off. So it's not actually a chip, there was a handle there. So well, that was kind of interesting. I got a pretty good picture of that in the dark with the uh, with the black light, and I'll put that up at the end of the video as well. But just for right now, let me just do a quick little demonstration. There it is. There, see, you can see that glowing pretty good, even though it's not real dark in here. See how it glows? Yeah. All right. The lights back on there. And then uh, the next is this skeleton key, and I had that in the electrolysis for about three and a half hours. Cleaned up quite well. I had to change my sacrificial uh, piece of metal and uh, started working a lot better. So I'm going to put it back in for a couple more hours, but I want to get the video done. But it did clean up quite well for the time it was in, and I'll put up some uh, like a before and after picture. Next, folks, we got the uh, Pyrex baby bottle. There we go. Nice embossing on that. It says Pyrex down here, and then Pyrex across there as well. Eight ouncer. And that puppy's going to be probably from the 40s, I suspect. Could be 30s, but it's pretty well made. Yeah, it might be from the 30s. Anyways, we've got a pretty good size uh, Noxzema bottle here. Jar. And then we got a octagon shaped one. I like these octagon ones. we got a little tiny glycothymoline. And this stuff here was used as a nasal spray or a mouthwash. And it had a 
some other uses as well, but something to do with cleaning the uh, mucous membranes. So, you don't hear too much about that nowadays. Next we got marble number 12 for this year. And that is a lovely marble. I'll just give you a little look at it there. Okay, there's my little marble jar for this year. That's what I got so far. There's 10 in there. This makes 11 in there. And I got that big uh, yellow and white shooter as well. So that's 12 all together. And then we got this little button. This little, uh, like a saucer, it says Hunter's Mustard. I couldn't find anything online about it. But I'm assuming it's like a little sauce saucer, <laughs> like you put the mustard in it and dip stuff into it. I don't know. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. <laughs> Here's your milk glass stopper. That turned out lovely. Now I just got to find a cork top milk glass bottle to put it in. We'll be all set. So that's going to be it, folks. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh finds maybe you see something there you didn't see before and uh well we'll catch you all in the next one over and out folks have a great day <laughs>